backed and powered by 150 years of business experience. Venue is a virtual data room trusted by the best of the Fortune 500 to move deals seamlessly from one to the other to the next to. To this point in 2015, overall deal activity in financial services has been more subdued than in other sectors. The greatest deal activity has been in such areas as asset management, middle market investment banking, and in brokerage, while activity within banking has been steady compared to last year, with sellers hoping higher interest rates will improve profits and allow them to command higher prices from acquirers. As we think about current events that influence financial institutions, General Electric's plans to sell much of GE Capital will keep teams of investment bankers busy for the foreseeable future, while the threat of disruption from Silicon Valley is likely to spur the number of transactions for traditional banks. Welcome to today's installment of Merger Talk. My name is Mark Aiello, Vice President and General Manager for Venue, the virtual data room of R.R. Donnelly. Today I'm joined by Jeff Davis, Managing Director of Mercer Capital's Financial Institutions Group. Jeff, thanks for joining. I'm glad to be here. Thanks. Well, the first question I have for you today is, where, where are you seeing sector multiples right now? And where do you think they're, they're headed? Well, for, for acquisitions, is the, within the commercial banks, we're averaging about 140% on tangible book, which is the metric that we quote bank acquisitions upon. Although, like any sector, investors are looking to acquire an earnings stream. Last year, it was about 140%. Go back a couple years ago, in the years after the crisis, it was about 110%. So recovery in, from uh, somewhat of a recovery from a price to book perspective, but relative to earnings, we're not that far where, from where we were pre-crisis years in the mid-20s for a typical seller that doesn't have a depressed earnings stream. And what that says, Mark, is the structural profitability of commercial banks in this environment is lower I would argue about 75% of what it was pre-crisis because of the rate structure, the low rates, and also the added compliance burdens uh, related primarily to uh, uh, Dodd-Frank. Gotcha. And, and what are you seeing uh, current valuations due to deal activity? Where you think well, that's it, it's, it's, it's been fairly steady from a broad perspective. However, what we are starting to see is a pickup in activity among better positioned smaller banks in major metro areas, and the prices for those can be quite attractive, over two times tangible book, and uh, mid-20s to 30 times earnings. And we're starting to see that activity pick up. I think a couple things have happened to drive that. One, boards have been waiting for earnings to recover, and not everyone's gonna wait for Janet Yellen to raise the short end of the curve. I wouldn't hold my uh, breath on that one. And so the boards are ready to go. And the acquirers with their publicly traded shares have seen an improvement in their valuation in the last couple of years. They can pay more. So we're just seeing a, a bit of a pickup in activity, but it's a subset of what uh, otherwise is largely consolidation among small banks. And, and Jeff, are you seeing any differences in how deals, deals are being structured these days? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, not really. In theory, with, with more with the stock prices of acquirers having risen the last few years is we should see more large deals that are largely financed with stock. However, uh, cash con continues to be an important consideration and part of that reflects the industry is overcapitalized and so even well-performing banks with high multiple currencies, they may be sitting on excess capital and that's a way to deploy it is use a cash portion for an acquisition. And are there differences in how financial acquirers look at the market versus strategic acquirers? Uh, well, uh, in, the, in the sense that both are looking to make money, uh, no. But in terms of uh, that type of activity in the sector, 08 through 2010, private equity was fairly active in terms of investing in commercial banks that were being recapitalized. However, they are in the harvest mode now with the... Uh, recovery and values, and oftentimes their basis, they invested very low. It's time to harvest, even though arguably maybe waiting uh, to sell a bank another year or two, there might be some more money to be made. From a strategic acquire, which is essentially another bank acquiring uh, a seller, which is mostly what we see today, the objective is to produce more earnings out of the uh, institution that's acquired, and you do that by cutting expenses 30 to 50 percent. Last question for you today, Jeff, is what, when you're seeing successful strategies, how are the companies that are driving successful deals approaching due diligence, approaching integration? How are they, they playing it together? Well, the, uh, there are probably two stories there. One is from the 1990s. 
integration of acquired banks was all over the place. The, uh, uh, someone like a First Union had a terrible rep uh, reputation in terms of their ability to integrate, and that relates to the operational side. What we've seen during the last decade as well as this decade, banks have gotten very good from an operational standpoint where they still at times will struggle is hanging on to the revenue producer. So if you think about the cost structure, half of it is people. If, if an acquirer is looking to get rid of 30 to 40 percent of the overhead, that's going to involve a lot of back office people. But in the process, the acquirers have not always done a good job of hanging on to the revenue producers. Those people will migrate to another bank who will pay up. They pull their books of business with them in the revenue stream. Ultimately, though, on deal activity, this is a bit cynical comment, is all surprises are negative. So keep that in mind. I will. I will. Jeff, thanks so much for joining. Thank you. And thank you for joining. For more Merger Talk, visit thedeal.com. <laughs>